Welcome back to Breakfast Television, everyone. 821 on this Thursday. What a special day it is. We're joined in studio by all three of the Dufault La Pointe sisters, Justine, Chloe, Maxime. Welcome to the show. Thank you. We were just Thank talking you. over the break. It's going to be funny for us to do this in English, but <laughs> I want to say I'm so happy that you guys are here. I know you're super busy. Just came back to the country. Um, these past few months for, for you, for your family, for your team have been nothing less than crazy. Um, if we can go one at a time, sort of, how, how did you feel, of course, about the Olympics, the great results individually and as a family, and then the World Cups, there's medals there too, the rest of your season. Let's start with you, Justin. I mean, the whole, the whole two months. Oh my God, it's, it's just really, it's crazy. It's something that we couldn't e even imagine. It's uh, way over our expectation. There's so much love around us, and it's really great, actually. I think we really appreciate and we're really enjoying right now our, our moment. And about you, Chloe? It, it was a lot of emotion uh, at the game to get our parents there and got on the podium, had great performance. Uh, and then we had the World Cup. It was hard to get on track after we were like physically and mentally really tired. Mm -hmm. But we had the season to finish and we ended up like three, th two, three, four. So we were so happy about the rest of the season. Because I meant to ask after Olympics like that and for you too, Maxim, I mean, the focus is really hard to find after such a high emotionally and, and you had great success after the Olympics getting a bronze medal at, at a World Cup. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well this whole season I knew it was going to be like a marathon. That's how I saw it. But my highlight was going to be the, the games. So at the games, it was such a high, like so emotional. And then finding the inspiration and motivation to keep going on was, was a mental challenge. Um, but I really dive into it and I thought it was it's good for me like I'm gonna learn from that and then podium in uh, Japan and podium again in France it, I hold my breath so many times this season <laughs> I surprised myself it was amazing what is I mean what a successful a family all three sisters uh, at top of the world in, in the freestyle skiing of course okay so throughout this whole process everyone's been talking about all these magical moments that you guys have lived together as sisters, together as families, uh, and of course with your teams, your coaches, uh, and your teammates. What I want to know now is how were those moments, I want to go through each one of you, how were those moments individually for you, for Justin? Myself. What was it like well, to live them? Is it everything that you imagined? Uh, it's, it's hard to say. I, I got so many of them, but I would say personally, one of my favorite moments of, of out of all the game, I would say when you step on the podium at the medal ceremony, this is quite oh, yeah. special. I think you, sh you need to do it one day to really understand how important for an athlete it is. And when you hear the Canadian anthem and the flag coming up and you're next to your sister Absolutely. and you can just like say, wow, it's just incredible and just so beautiful. Of course. What about you, Chloe? One one moment or how you saw this whole two months unfold for you? Uh, the moment was, of course, on the podium when you receive the medal. It's, it's like the best feeling ever because you put so much energy into your career and it just ends up being like the result of it's all happening. the... It's happening. Yeah, it's happening. But um, I would say it was to be the three of us at the yeah. game. Uh, to stick together no matter what, to help each other and to... It was for us, because we were three, it was that we had the possibility to feel at home. Because yeah. um, it's, it's our like natural to be together. Right. So it was really great to be together at the game. We, we had stay to, grounded. Yeah. Of and course, we had a course. special moment yeah. uh, in the wellness center during the night when mm. we went there to stretch out and Relax. talk about our day. Yeah. Yes. And you, Maxim? For me, my biggest highlight was the beginning of the season because I wasn't sure I was going to make the Olympic team, but I had my plan and I just put it into action and it was amazing to see everything happening. And my first podium in Carrier, right. I did it in Dare Valley. Wow. And at that time, I didn't realize how much of an effect it would help me go to the Olympics, but that pretty much sealed the deal, but I didn't know until the end. And 
it gave me such a taste. For, oh, of course, <laughs> and, well, and it's paid off because so yeah. much success came after that. And, and quickly, because we have to go to break, and we could be talking for hours. Is I, I don't feel like there's a sense of competitiveness between the three of you. I, you're just so united together. That's it's true, right? It's yes. exactly what it is. We're just we grow together as a team, as best friend. So even if we are competing together. It doesn't gonna change the fact that we're gonna. Your sisters. We're united. You're yeah. united, your sisters. Well, girls, uh, this is great. You are kind enough to stay with us a little longer. Of we'll course. be talking again in a few moments. And guys, uh, we're, I'm, I don't want to talk about sports anymore uh, for <laughs> when that comes up. We're gonna talk about you guys, your your aspirations in fashion. I'm very very interested to that. Great. So uh, we'll be back after a short break here on Breakfast Television. Of course, stay tuned. More from the Jifola Point sisters coming up on Breakfast Television.